guys, what's up? How's it going? I'm Sketch Monster. Uh, this is a video on improving your general drawing skills. I think this is the best exercise for improving your general drawing, uh, and I'm going to explain why. Uh, so I'm going to be using this pen right here. It's a ballpoint pen. Uh, it is a uh, Zebra F402. Uh, so the reason, okay, so one of the biggest things within general drawing is your ability to see and think in spaces in 3D. You're basically thinking in 3D. Uh, that's the biggest uh, difference I've seen from uh, kind of a, how do you say that? Just somebody's beginning, somebody uh, you know that becomes intermediate to advanced would be this ability to think in th uh, kind of three dimensions. Uh, thinking of the back of something. When I'm drawing an arm, I'm thinking of the, the other side of the arm at the same time. You're thinking of how, what is the space that it's taking up? So an exercise, I think that's the best for that, and I truly believe this, uh, you know, that I, I think this really will help you, is basically I want you to create boxes within space, so, and a connecting boxes. Cubes. So that's a cube. I mean, you guys know how to form cubes, I hope. I'm thinking in x-rays. I'm thinking in 3D. I'm always kind of thinking of the back portion of this cube. That would be inside the back. What's going on? So I have this cube. What do I do with it? Something you can do with it is extend off this cube, either with another cube or another object. So for example, I'm going to be drawing another, like let's say a rectangle, like a longer rectangular cube underneath it. Like about the same size. We'll go over perspective later, but I am thinking in a little bit of perspective. I will go over perspective later on, though, trust me. Um, but, you know, just generally what you vaguely know about, uh, you know, basic perspective you would use that I'm also so that's the front but I am thinking about the back see this line's going to go all the way down and it will connect in the back here and then you connect these lines pull all the way down and that's where it's connecting inside so I would kind of create an object and then create the other side of that object or the 3D portion of that object so let's just put like a wedge over here let's say you got like a uh, like a triangle wedge and it is kind of a uh, boxing angular so it's going backwards into space I'm gonna make it align with that it's going back into space at the same angle and this is gonna be the same and I'm gonna connect that line as well let me know if this is too hard, by the way. Let me know if you need more of like a basic perspective course, because uh, you are have to, you are thinking, you're forcing your brain to think in perspective, and that would be right there. See, this would be pull in more. Then you're connecting that as well. There's no design, by the way. The other video was all about design. This is there's no designing here. You are just extending, and you're trying to think of objects in and in space and how they relate to each other uh, that is similar and let me tell you what that's similar to right now see I'm thinking of like maybe like a bloated box over here how would that connect so the front lines that'd be what we'd normally see and obviously this is for yourself yourself so you're gonna know I'm just doing this so that you it, it's a little more obvious these thicker lines are the, the lines that I see, and the ones uh, in the back here are the ones I'm thinking about in my mind. Uh, but I am still drawing them in. So the reason I'm bringing this up is because when you draw the human figure, and I don't know, you must have seen this in books a million times, you will draw a circle. You'll draw like a pose like this. Like let's say the spine, you're pulling the spinal cord. Uh, you're drawing a circle for the deltoid. You're drawing simplistic shapes.
and let's say let's put a neck in here and you're kind of what you're doing is you're doing the exact exact same thing you think about how they relate to one another and how they overlap so that's a light outline here so right now if I'm thinking of this I'm thinking of this kind of oval for the head and I'm thinking as that oval sits on top of a cylinder cylinder for the neck see and since I can since I'm thinking in 3d I can see kind of vaguely where the cylinder is going to connect in the back there and it would be off the chest it would be going off the chest so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bloat this rectangle for the, this chest area that represents the chest I hope this is making sense to you guys really if this doesn't make sense please comment and I can make a, a follow-up video uh, explaining this more you are practicing how things interact you, you are you're practicing and this organizes it in your mind this will it's basically like a cleanup it's almost you know what I consider it more like a like an autocorrect for your brain uh, in a way at least for your drawing aspect of your brain you start to like these thoughts right here of 3d see for example see this is the far shoulder hopefully that makes sense there that'd be the far shoulder of my simplified figurine whoops sorry about that noise I'm rendering something so this is the far side of the shoulder what you would do is I'm thinking of the back side as well I'm thinking through that just like over there I'm thinking through the exact same thing right here as well where's the waist gonna be it's gonna get smaller as it goes down but and obviously this is just for your abstraction this is for your beginning when you're starting when you're starting a drawing right uh, you wouldn't I wouldn't normally go this hard down onto uh, the cylinder for the arm it hides back there and so on. let me finish this guy off a little bit the box for the front and the knuckles Deltoid. Uh, I'm thinking of the deltoid as this bizarre kind of wedge, this strange wedge shape. Uh, anyways, if you do this enough over and over and over again, uh, you're gonna start automatically seeing that in your mind. You know, uh, I am thinking, like I said, within perspective. I'm thinking not really so much in this one. I'm just thinking of vague perspective. Things going, the things I'm back are further away, and the things closer are closer to you. You know, things like that. Uh, you know, very basic, no, nothing super technical about it. Anyways, I hope that makes sense. And I would say right now as an exercise, just do this kind of thing. You can do this as well, you know, like a figurine. Look at an object. I would say take an action figure and try to do that. Create abstract shapes out of it within space and try to connect those blocks, almost like it's Legos or, or, or Duplo or whatever you guys use. Uh, you know, think of it like it's a Lego block. And that will help you think within space and that will, you'll notice that the next time, um, if you do this for a while, like for a few times, you will notice a difference in your sketching. You will notice like your figures will look filled out. You know, common problems I see from not doing thinking like this would be uh, like the shoulder looks deflated or things look crooked and weird. There's no structure to it. It doesn't look like it's, oh, sorry about that. <laughs> sorry, about that. I got too excited. I hit this desk. Um, you know, uh, sometimes things look like there are no structure to it, like, it, like, like it's a mashed potato person. This is the best exercise to kind of get over that. Anyways, I've hammered it enough. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that exercise. Let me know how it goes, and I will talk to you guys next time. If you like the video, please press a like. Ask me a question. Talk to me, guys, okay? I want to get this, act, uh, this channel a lot more active, so I will talk to you later on. See ya.